There are 25 collectibles here in Rusu Mountain. Now I'm going to show you all of them, including the meditation point. First one we're going to find is a shrine. We're going to use our mask here. This is part of the story. And then we're going to get a water flower right in front of us. And what we're going to do is use our rot, take control of it. We have our little water monster here. And we're going to go off to the left-hand side and we're going to break open this barrier. Some more branches here. And we're just going to keep making our way back and you're going to eventually find the shrine, which you're going to have to then remove all the branches around that. And the corruption is gone. So that gives you access to the shrine. Remember, interacting with the shrines is going to give you some money. Next up, we're going to continue on the main story path here. We're about to hit an area with kind of like a loop, like a racetrack is for the path. And when you enter this area, go to the front right corner and you're going to find a rot right underneath the rock. All right, tap of the staff. And uh, let's go ahead. Number two is going to be on the same path and we have to wind around a little bit. And you're going to have the section where there's mud slides. So if you fall into the mud, you'll slide down. Well, you want to slide down and over here to this rock, this platform, and then just follow this to the end and we'll find the rot. Use L1. Use your pulse to make it appear. All right, so rot number three is going to be just a little bit further. And once you make your way to the top of that previous section, you're going to come out here. We're going to have a fast travel point. And then we're going to drop down. So right after the fast travel point, just drop down. You should see this ledge. Again, L1 to pulse and bring out the rot. Now there is one spirit mail in this area, and we're about to do that now. This is in the, I can only best describe it as the uncharted section. It looks like it's straight out of an uncharted game. But you'll eventually make your way here, and you're supposed to jump up front of you and then up into that little cave. Instead, we're going to shimmy over here to the right. And keep going and leap, leap again, and then up inside this cave is where we're going to find the spirit mail. Remember the spirit mail you take back to the village to open access to new parts of it. All right, so we're back on the rot train here. Kind of making our way up to the, the house. And we have another section we're climbing and you're supposed to climb up and then out right here. You'll see the main path just ahead. What I'm going to do is take a detour. Instead, turn around and jump up even higher over here at the corner. Now, we're going to use our rots to move a big, big boulder here. I'm just going to kind of edit this down here a little bit because these guys don't move particularly fast. Once they get it in place, just jump up here and we're going to find the rot. It's going to be underneath the stone, so you have to use the rots to lift that up first. All right, a little bit later on, we're gonna find a cursed chest and a hat, a two for one special. You're gonna eventually make your way to this bridge. You and your friends, the rots are supposed to pull that rope so you can get across, but instead just take this path to the right before you cross, you'll find the cursed chest. Cursed chest is going to lead to some sort of random encounter with some sort of condition tied to it. In this case, I just have to defeat four enemies. So let me go ahead and just cut this down as well. This video is already long enough. And then once you've done that, you have access to the chest and that's going to also contain the bird's nest hat. All right, so rot number five, we are finally making it to Rusu's house here. This is the archery section. You finally get your bow, which is an amazing weapon in this game. And there's a lot of things we can do here. First thing I'm going to do is head over here to the left side. There's a purple pot, which I'm going to hit with an arrow. And out from the bottom of it is another rot. We're going to collect that. So from the center of the area again, we're going to make our way straight this time instead of going to the left. We're going to find another hat vendor, the hat shop. This is going to award you the whirly bird hat. So feel free, go purchase it, equip it, whatever you want to do. Now there's also a Rusu's mask very nearby. So just to the left of the mask shop, you got this guy here. He's going to challenge you to a three round archery contest, basically. And what you're going to do is use the, the rots to pull the lever over there. And there's three rounds of this. So just complete each of the three. If you fail, you can restart. And upon completing the third round, you're going to be awarded Rusu's mask. So again, in that same very same area there, words are difficult. I apologize. You're going to find a flower sh shrine right over there. If we keep and continue up the path, you're going to see a crystal on the tree. 
If we tag that, out will come some water, allowing you to take control of the water flower. So we're going to just take this back down the hill and then turn right to unlock the shrine. Okay, so also nearby in this area is going to be the meditation point. There's only one spot in, in this area of a meditation. Remember, meditation, when you use them, will permanently increase your health. So they're, they're quite uh, valuable. Plus, you need to find all of them for a trophy, for platinum anyway. So there's a spot down there. We're going to have to use this flower, the arrow. And zip right over there and go ahead and meditate. This would probably be your first one you actually find. The one in the previous area you couldn't get until later in the story so the taro's fear trophy will pop when that trophy pops this is story related leaving out all the spoilers you will get three rots now there's a few more things we're gonna have to do in this same very area quite a few things we're gonna do actually inside the house in a drawer is going to be another rot use l1 the pulse to get them go ahead and collect that now, uh, outside the house, um, if I turn around here, you'll see a tunnel. And this tunnel is going to lead us to a bunch of different things here. As soon as we enter this area, look for a rot running around with a flower on its head. That's right. This one actually moves. And this one also contains the hat. So you're getting another two-for-one special here. The tenth rot and the fourth hat, the flower. I think there's only two rots that come with a hat, by the way. I could be wrong, but I believe that is true. All right, so in this area is going to be a flower shrine. I'm just pulling up the map here again. So it's in that same area where you just got that previous rot. Hit that crystal. Get another water plant. So let's go ahead and get a, a rot monster together. Go through this obstruction here, and then we're going to go through this cave and then out the other side. And this is going to lead us to a shrine, which we then have to clear. And there is the shrine. All right, so let's go ahead and get the feather hat, shall we? Feather hat's going to be also in the same area. You need to use the rots to pull out this cog, and then you can shoot that crystal there to turn the wheel. Probably shouldn't have just turned it right then, but well, here we are. So I'm going to turn it again until I can jump on it. And one more time, shall do it. All right, platform your way up to the cliff above you here. And then we're going to take a lift over here. If it's not here already, just shoot this little crystal here right next to us. It should be in this position when you get here, arrive here for the very first time. When I record these guys, I usually just try to do the path. I recreate the path, I practice it, and then I go backwards in time and... Uh, Hit the record button so sometimes things aren't in the right position but here's a, another flower you have to do a double flower jump here and there's a chest inside that chest is going to be the fifth hat again it's the feather hat all right we have another two for special here this is going to be rot number 11 and hat number six the final hat now this is also going to be at rusu's house area it's going to be out the other side of the house though you're going to see this little garden there's a water wheel you gotta hit that to Get the water and then the plant and then take out your water monster and then just run around here you'll see the squash just appeared we are going to just go over to it hit l1 if you don't hit l1 nothing will happen the rot will come out just collect it and you will get the hat as well so there's three that technically come with the hat, but that he's not actually wearing it for whatever reason all right so rot number 12 this is going to be as you're leaving this area, as you're leaving Rusu's house area, you're going to come down the slide here and you're right back at the beginning. Well, now that we have our bow, we can hit this flower over here, to access the, the rot number 12. And there's also going to be another rot in the same general area. You could have gotten it when you first entered this area, I believe. But we're just going to go ahead and get it before we head out. All right, so from the start, from the fast travel gorge point, we are going to make our way in the water along the left-hand side. So the previous one is just to the right. We're just going to run this way. Let's speed it up. Okay. 
Straight in front of you will be the rot. Just look for the little purple sparkly things. Yeah? Kind of guides you to your location. And that'll do it uh, for Rusu Mountain.